Hello everyone, we hope you all are doing well and welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for the Scorchers versus Strikers game and it's going to be played at Perth which is known for its pace pounce and we have Nikhil Bhai with us today to carry you through the preview and give you some insights on this one. Yes, thank you as always for having me. Uh, good to see the game right at times. So we keep trying and yes, this game uh, will be very, very uh, because you'll want to take 10 bowlers, which is not possible on any on any app. But uh, yeah, that's how this, uh, because both teams are stronger bowling sites. So I think it is going to be uh, that kind of game. So yeah, let's see. Yes, absolutely. And before we get to all about the teams and the venue conditions, Santa is awaiting with an amazing gift for all of you. So the bonus offer that you guys always wait for, this time it's 100% bonus up to rupees 20,000. So all you need to do is go make your best deposit. And keep in mind that these deposits will also be counted towards the depositor's leaderboard, which is again valid only till tonight, the 25th of December. So once you make your best deposit, you're eligible to win a prize all the way up to a trip to Australia. And there are other prizes up till the 50th rank. So ensure you check that out. Fan to play app link is in the description. And now let's look and understand what are going to be the venue conditions on offer for this one. So, Nikhil Bhai, do you see this one going just like how the World Cup games did go with a lot of pace and bounce on offer? And how which are the kind of bowlers that you see that would prosper on that kind of track? I think just going by the World Cup uh, games, uh, we saw that there was always help for pacers who could bowl into the deck as opposed to bowling very full and allowing the batters to loft. So, a uh, good bowler will a good bowler will always find a way. But I feel there will be two ways to look at it. One is you either go with natural length that works at Perth, which is like good length top of off, and which are the kind of bowlers that bowl that. So, one way is to look at it in that way. And the next criteria is whoever is bowling in the very key phases. That's an Andrew Ty, a Peter Siddle. So the power surge becomes your second criteria. So of course, it's always important to have a clear visualization of how you think about the match. And then if you put layers in layers, then you'll be able to eliminate people or eliminate options that if they're bowling second, do you think Peter Siddle will be handy or not? Whatever that scenario comes to your mind, you can back uh, that kind of thinking. But Usually, it is better to bat and get a score because Perth has done that for a living. Uh, like, they get a good score and then they are defending very happily. So, these things are a lot of So, first batting and defend. Karo. Should work for both teams. But I don't think that one team ki batting is so good if the conditions are good, good for bowlers as well. So, I think it's a lot tricky game ho hai to get the exact combination right. Right, and tricky game also means some high risk that you'll have to take. And what is the league type then, Nikhil? Why you're going to look again at mini GLs and GLs for this one, or are you going to opt for some small leagues? Uh, now, our small leagues don't work for me in T20s mostly, so I don't prefer uh, small leagues. If it works for you, please go ahead and play that. There is no thumb rule in fantasy. Ke aise khilna ja, waise khilna. Different things work for different people because you make different kind of teams. So I usually tend to make a slightly risky team with a common captain but a risky vice captain or more than three very less selected players as my differentials for the day. So if you make a team, bana te, uske upar, uh, you can pick. Because in this game, I think that the bowlers are a lot more than you have. So karna thoda mushkil ho jayega. And in BBL, they change around very uh, happily. So, of course, it doesn't mean that Jai won't bowl four, but no. sometimes Ty yeah. won't take wickets, but somebody else will. If Kelly plays and he comes in and takes wickets, some days Vesagar will come up in the end overs and takes wickets. So, if you're able to visualize very well, please go ahead and play small leagues. I mini gel is a safer investment return because the risk is very high because options are very high. Right, absolutely. So let's look at what is the best base team we can make with the amount of bowlers <laughs> that we have on offer. So, 
So over to the base team, and I guess this will be the easiest section for you to make your pick from in Josh Inglis without any disrespect to Harry Nielsen, but with the position that he bats at, I think with and with the rich of choices that we have across sections, that is our pick from this section. And in the batting, we are going with Faf and Lin. Again, we are going with the experienced campaigners. You have a lot of choices here. Hobson looked good in the last game. Host has been looking good across. But when you look through the middle overs, none of their matchups are going to be easy. Hobson is going to probably come up against Rashid. Host is going to come up against Zoglu. And Idem Light is going to come up against the ultra legend of the BBL till now in Matt Short, who seems to find wickets in some way or the other. And hence, you have just opted for experience in this section too. Absolutely. So, you see, we are backing the experienced pros to get away and give you a decent start. You think that the top order is better, it won't go. You have to take the option of the top order, so you have many options. You could go with anybody who you feel will come off in that sense. But we are somebody who prefers bowlers and all-rounders, so we are going there. If you want to prefer, you can always pick Hose. As I said, Adam Light will come a good day. जब वेदरल का एक अच्छा गेम आता है साल में तो वो कब आएगा हमें नहीं पता बट अगर आपको लगता है कि वो गेम आज उस दिन आने वाला है तो द थिंग विद दिस प्लेयर्स इज ये ऐसे प्लेयर हैं जो यूजुअली फॉर्ज बैटिंग में बेटर करते हैं क्योंकि ये बाउंड्री हिटर्स हैं उनके 30 40 भी आपके लिए काफी है आपको उनसे 70 80 मिले तो वो तो अकेला गेम जिता देंगे आपके लिए सो दैट इज द काइंड ऑफ थिंकिंग दैट यू समटाइम्स फाइंड इट दैट टू मेक ग्रैंड लीग टीम्स दैट इज द वन वे टू गो अबाउट मेकिंग Uh, differential teams with when there is so many options in the batting section. Yes, absolutely. So without further ado, let's get to <laughs> the all rounders. <laughs> and like we mentioned, Matt Short, you have to have him in your side. And Ashton Agar should be able to play a good role here. And hence we are opting for him. For now, we are not taking CDG because we feel with the amount of bowlers that are on offer and the guys and most of them are probably going to bowl their full quota ahead of him. Mm-hmm. So hence we are going to opt for the specialist, and here we are going to probably pick some guys first who will be in your team in either scenario, whether they bowl first, bowl second, and then we'll discuss the rest. So Thornton, Jai Richardson, and Rashid Khan are guys who we feel should be in your team in either scenario. Now Nikhil, why? How do you balance around the other picks? How because Jason has a good ground record, like we discussed. Peter Siddle. Like you said, when he's bowling first, you have to have him in your team. Similarly, yeah. Peter Zoglu, if he's bowling second, so how do you balance this out? Because you have quite a few choices, and we have three slots left. Absolutely. So I think the one way that I think I might go around go about this one is uh, I will go with my visualization that if the team, if I feel team batting first is winning, uh, so I'm expecting wickets under pressure. and hmm. then i'll start to take bowlers like that so if i'm going to assume that uh, perth is going to bat first they'll put up a good score and then defend hmm. who are the bowlers that i definitely need for perth to win so it will be jai it will be jason berendorf for sure because they'll take wickets up top it could be peter hertzoglu if you feel that uh, the wicket will assist uh, spin in that sense so that way you are able to eliminate a few options and then because you've taken these three You will say that yeah, strikers are bowling first. Who do I feel will take wickets? If it is only going to be the end overs bowler, then you can take a Peter Siddle and a West Agar both. But there you have to be very sure that okay, three uh, option is. So, in this case, I will choose. So here you can go with Peter Arjuglu, and you still have two more options to take. So you can go ahead and take an extra batter from Perth if you are going with that visualization. So that is how you have to think. If you think that Adelaide will take bowling and take wickets more than Delhi. पर्थ विकेट सेकंड में नहीं लेगी एक दो ही लेगी तो दैट इज व्हेन यू कैन पैक योर टीम विद मोर एडलेड के बोलर्स एंड देन टेक द करस्पोंडिंग ओपोनेंट्स फ्रॉम पर्थ के भाई ओके देन हु विल स्कोर एरन हार्डी स्कोर करेंगे क्या मिड ओवर्स में एस्टन डर्नर स्कोर करेगा क्या तो इन दिस गेम यू हैव टू बी वेरी श्योर ऑफ योर विजुलाइजेशन एंड यू कैन ऑलवेज गो विद कॉमर्शंस बिकॉज़ यू ऑलरेडी टेकन फोर बोलर्स थ्री बोलर्स यार यू ऐड अ एंट्री टाइ एंड अ पीटर सिडल टू इट इट स्टिल बिकम्स अ वेरी सेफ टीम Now, if you're very sure, you can take Jason Randolph. Very sure, you can take Peter Hutchinson. So, the game is very open for you to try, and which is why we go back to the point: the game is risky, is level high, is risk. That's why we're thinking about playing the mini jets. Because which one will go? And when legends are sitting there, who will become captain or vice captain? And that will effectively decide 
how you are going to go about kyunki usually he gives an early chance agar jaldi out ho gaye to pura grand league open hoga aapke liye but agar nahi hota hai to wo batting bhi karenge bowling bhi karenge teen catches bhi pakad lenge to that is how you have to think about this game yes so like we mentioned we have like if you go back here like we said that without jason tai and sedil you have three slots and five people to pick if you yeah. want to make it easier and if you are anyway going to play only grand leagues and mini deals then drop mad shot and then pick yeah. four let's pick four out of the five because yeah. there's the, the one point i like i know that there will be two or three games where it, all of this will not work for him and the one point is that when you are a part time bowler and if you have one bad over irrespective of what you've done before there's a good chance that you will not bowl after that and if that's the case then these strikers bowlers whether it's ega sidil or whether you want to take heads or glue when he's bowling second all these guys are likely to bowl 3 to 4 overs at the least and with mad shot bounce when there's going to be bounce in these conditions some it's not going to be easy to face jai or jason berendorf yeah. so yes <laughs> maybe one of these games are the ones where you can take that chance but yeah. if you're playing safe and you want to make him captain then in no. that case we have told you these are the three safe choices agar and azoglu the slightly no. more risky ones and no. safe captain is mad shot vice captain jai if he bowls first sidil if he bowls no. first so any one of those two and yep. you know the risky choices i i guess all <laughs> I, i in fact there, there are times where i like to mention bowlers who you should avoid as captain or vice captain but i don't think in this game i am <laughs> seeing that i'm seeing that choice maybe maybe jason bend off to a point because of the nature of his yeah. bowling but his record against opposition on ground does not warrant that either so yeah. yes every <laughs> bowler was trying as far as captaincy vice captaincy is concerned so we are leaving the vice captaincy slot empty for you uh, yeah. and we'll decide that on telegram post the toss <laughs> so yes that is the round up of this team and you've explained to you in detail on why so many bowlers now let's look at the grand league options and where our gut feel is in league towards go for it sir <laughs> after speaking so much about bowling i'll take two guys as the differential players for grand league uh one i think is going to be ashton turner hmm. uh you don't usually see him go out without any good uh, knock uh, in in this league and when there are early wickets you have often seen him come come up with a very very good knock we saw that in the india game as well that he got them to win uh some time back but again i'm going to assume that early wickets will fall he'll get enough time to make an impact so ashton turner is one grand league option for you to try and a corresponding one from the other side who we have talked about before and that's adam hoss so because his batting at four i think he should be able to pace his innings better and give you a good handy bankable 35 40 kind of a, a knock but uh, because bowling ke bare mein humne sab ke bare mein baat kar li hai so i think maybe batter could be the difference in runs over to you yep. very possible uh, my two picks for this game because we are expecting bounce in these conditions and cutters and pullers should enjoy this one so jake weatherall especially if there's lack of movement up front he should be able to prosper in these conditions and uh, second pick for me again i'm not i'm not saying that it's gradley pick or whatever but peter adoglu when he's bowling second vice captaincy captaincy material because he's that guy who will take wickets in a pack and he did that he did that well against the stars so yes he took two and that was good enough so yes yeah yes. bilkul we are continuing the bank peter to do it for us <laughs> yes and the presence that is the thing about visualization if you feel see he's bowled a game where he only bowled one over but you have to see the opponent and what is the kind of venue and what all is going to happen for him to come good so always go with your visualization it doesn't matter about me viren or anybody else thinks if you feel a certain guy will work try him in your team and then see how it goes for you kyunki aise hi hum sab seekhenge and that is how we keep learning Yes, and the strikers middle order have a lot of right-handers, so it should be <laughs> uh, it should be a good day out. So yes, that is our roundup for all the four games. We hope you saw all the four previews. In case you didn't see any of the other three, ensure you go towards both the test matches, the first BBL game, 
all of it is live so we have spent boxing day trying to box out some of the interesting bowlers out from our team and we hope that you enjoy the previews and the games all the good luck to you yes just just like try rashid khan also bye <laughs>